All right, Warriors, welcome back. Before we get started, we're going to do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds, five Mississippis. And what we're going to do is breathe in deep, hold it, and release together. Just to unwind for a little bit. And be able to reflect on past experiences as badass lessons. And the only time you're going to draw from that is just to bitch slap yourself. Not take your breath away, but to posture defensively because you know what's next. You're able to now predict how people operate simply by observing in your silence without absorbing. You see, narcissists take it personally. You're now looking at it from a bird's eye view. You're even watching yourself operate in the shoulda, coulda, wouldas before it happens. And so you're able to stop because you're able to analyze what all the outcomes would be. Narcissists are predators. And they only have eyes for what's present happening in the moment. Emotions and feelings is what they operate out of. Five Seconds Warriors gets you better in tune with your own equipment. And what it is you've been ignoring. See, a lot of coaches will tell you, oh, you got to do the self work. You got to, but they're not teaching you how to speak to that conscience you've been ignoring because everybody's been telling you you're crazy for having one. Well, that everybody is on that list of the ones that don't have it. Of course, it's alien to them. They're narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths. Why do you think they depend on your energy in emergencies? Survival guides are written for the dumbasses with crowns. Intelligence knows how to operate instinctively. What? Ain't telling you something I don't, you don't already know. Uh, look, iron sharpens iron, don't it? Let's take five seconds. And let's put this all behind us for a sec. And take a badass walk on the beach. Come on. Release slowly. All right, shake that shit off, y'all. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all visiting my Amazon wish list, Chico's Amazon wish list. That is so cool. Uh, I added some things to it, some tidbits. Like I got rocks, literally, holding some of my notes because sometimes I, I there's things I don't want to forget to mention. But these rocks are so damn heavy and get in the way as a distraction. So I put some badass thumbtacks on my Amazon wish list. If somebody would bless me with that, it would be so cool. And it would help from me fumbling around with this shit. And I can get what I need out. Because that's what's important. Look. In order for you... Let's just... For shits and giggles, call it a spell. What are spells? Let, let's call that the lie. The lie is a spell. To cast a spell with your words is to manipulate truth and bend it, even half truths, right? A manipulation. And we understand that once a lie is told, the damage is done. There ain't no putting that shit back together again. But understand before any damage can be done, Many of you have been blessed with the snake's head and all it would have taken is you to stomp it with your heel. And this is what I mean. The minute you feel uncomfortable and you said too much, this is how I want you to catch yourself and verbalize it and watch the body language of the narcissist. And this is how you do it. Not only do you catch yourself, you confess it to the person in front of you and let it be known. That's how you, it, it th this is what it's gonna sound like. Look at here, I already said too much and I don't even know you like that. And just keep your eye on them. Whenever you speak your truth in uncomfort with authority, in other words, 
You just caught yourself failing yourself, and you're letting the narcissist know you're a manipulator, and I've already said too much. And watch that draw drop. It, look, when they're called out like that, they know it's someone solid. And look, you're going to see the vocabulary change to docile. Because this is how they handle confrontation. I'm going to share a remark with you that a warrior shared with me. Well, with all of us. In one of the videos. It comes from Kelly. You're told how smart, funny, and beautiful you are. Then, as you cook and boil, as in a boiling frog, that podium gets greased. And they're down there chopping bits off with every word. People demonize wolves, coyotes, and mountain lions. I've worked with all of these and do wildlife and domestic rehab with injured animals that are afraid and in pain with big teeth. They wish you no harm. They are true to themselves and how they were made. Why do I bring that up? Because a narcissist is so com is completely opposite. Glued on dollar store, glued on dollar store fangs, false ego, and looks do harm at every turn. And then another one from Trevor. Hell has no fire escape. I have a great friend that's a comedian he uh him and his wife take a bus <laughs> i mean i'm talking a loaded out bus he converted and we go out there and we all surf together and we shoot the shit around the bonfire and when guys get around the bonfire which is uh, it, it's just hilarious as comedians as comics and people who travel the world abroad having a world view is different and conversations are very, very different. And for those that, that have never been around that kind of a circle, it's entertaining just to hear it. And so a buddy of mine mentions a statistic. He says, did you know three out of four women are on antidepressants? This comedian friend of mine pokes his head out the bus, didn't miss a lick now. Looked dead at us all around the fire and says that means there's one little rascal out there didn't take their meds today that's the one you got to worry about <laughs> where's he he was like oh shit <laughs> you see it's the ones that stay in a disposition of hurt and maintain it and that's why I ask you to be careful with content creators that don't show a progression of healing to pass forward to you as an example of what it is that they're trying to teach you how to do. If they're staying in this loop of hurt and keep you there as if to keep this alive, then warriors... You know better. And this is this is how I know. You ever turn down the stereo so you can see better? If you're laughing your ass off right about now, it's because you're old enough to know better. You've lived long enough to not even be able to Confucius that for some reason it's just something you automatically do you see narcissists say you change a lot I say a lot has changed you it's called experience and there are those that carry that and will hold everyone else accountable for that and there are those that are going to learn from it become better add value to everyone around them and themselves in other words there are going to be some 
that were abused that become the abuser. And there are those that, be, that were abused and become the healers. It's not for the weak. It's not for everybody. I challenge you this today. And, and, and it starts now. Let this be the last video you watched this morning. Put your phone on airplane mode and only use it as an instrument to call out an emergency, if you will. Business. If it's not making you money, don't put it in your hand. If you can do that, like you fucking mean it, look at me. For one day, today, you're going to learn a lot about yourself. If you can do it for three days, you're going to find yourself being more productive with a whole lot more extra time. Take me up on that challenge, warriors. Give your mind time to connect the dots. You can't keep you, you, you can't keep trying to skip a step. See, it don't work that way. Each step is necessary in order to open the next door. And you <laughs> you have no idea how beautiful it is. Warriors, I appreciate all your support. And I thank you so much for you prayer warriors keeping everyone in your prayers. Just remember this. It's not for us to figure out which religion is the true religion. That's for the Almighty to sort out. Your spiritual walk is private. It's why it doesn't make sense to no one else. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Les mando besos y abrazos. Namaste. Jesse, what are you doing today? We're going to skydive today. We're going to skydive. Leap of faith. Leap of faith. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe. The that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet. Yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling we're at 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. You got my back. <laughs> yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. What All right. made you want to skydive? What What brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on
Shit. Woo! You know, honestly, I have no idea who won the sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> All right, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be well, back. Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us. It's got a Lone Star. Man, do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> my brother. Oh, what a fun ride. Hey, man, glad y'all came out. What an experience. Come and see us again. Thank you.